Welcome to pre-math. In this video we have got this semicircle. As you can see in this uh, diagram such that this angle COD is 68 degrees and now we are going to calculate this angle uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, these points uh, B and C. I am going to connect uh, these points B and C. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And now let's recall the Thales theorem. According to this theorem, if A, B and C are distinct point uh, on the circle, as you can see A, B and C points are on the circle and then this uh, a b is the diameter of this semicircle then this angle uh, a c b is going to be 90 degrees therefore our this angle uh, a c b is uh, 90 degrees and now let's recall the central angle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference now we can see our angle at the center is 68 degrees and this central angle subtends this whole arc. Now we can see that this angle is at the circumference and that subtends the same arc as well. Therefore according to this central angle theorem this angle has got to be half of this uh, 68 degrees so this angle is going to be 34 degrees. So therefore our this angle EBC turns out to be 34 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, shaded triangle EBC. And now let's recall the triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles are always equal to 180 degrees. In other words, the sum of all these three angles must be equal to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and write down this angle is X, this angle is 90 degrees, and this angle is 34 degrees. Let me go ahead and write down angle X plus uh, 90 degrees plus uh, 34 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side x plus uh, 124 degrees equals to 100 and 80 degrees. Let's go ahead and subtract 124 degrees from both sides. This is gone. So therefore our this angle x turns out to be 56 degrees. So thus our angle x turns out to be 56 degrees. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.